So on April 22nd, 2012, um, people looked up and saw a giant fireball streaking across the sky over California and Nevada. Even though meteors fall at all times of the day and night, it's rare to see one during the day, and it's also rare for a meteor to create a sonic boom that reportedly um, was loud enough to set off car alarms and rattle people's windows. The amount of information they were able to gather about this meteor was pretty unprecedented. Doppler weather radar picked it up in Reno and Sacramento. The sonic boom was recorded as far away as Washington State, and people also snapped pictures of the meteor fireball um, with their cameras as they were walking their dogs. So using all of these sources, scientists were able to determine how fast the meteor was traveling as it entered the atmosphere and its size. So between two to four meters in diameter and between 20 to 80 metric tons. Then they narrowed down where they should search for the fragments and that was centered around Sutter's Mill, California, near the town of Coloma, where coincidentally gold was discovered in the 19th century. So in sort of a repeat of the California gold rush, you had locals, meteorite hunters, scientists rush onto the scene to search for meteorites. Scientists from NASA and SETI arrived. Many people actually opened up their homes or land to let them search. The scientists went up in a zeppelin to take the lay of the land and look for evidence of crater impact. So maybe a hole in a roof or a place where branches got broken. And after about two months, they'd found 74 pieces, which added up to about two pounds. They were in a huge rush to pick up the chunks of meteorite because water can change the natural chemistry of the rocks. From what they found, they were able to determine that these are an unusual type of meteorite called carbonaceous chondrites. Carbonaceous chondrites have clues about the early solar system and possibly even origins of life. It is a really special meteorite because uh, this particular one contains all the goodies that scientists are interested in, the amino acids, uh, all the compounds that could have uh, made life possible on our planet. This new paper in Science tells us that the meteorite is quite complex in terms of its geophysics and its geochemistry. It also contains some very rare, very reactive minerals and is quite young compared to most other meteorites in its family. So what's exciting about the Sutter's Mill meteorite to me is how it shows how scientists and communities can work together. Hopefully, as technology improves and as more people are looking for these sorts of things coming out of the sky, we'll get a better sense of how life originated in our solar system.